Okay, Dr. Hubner, I am here with Jenna, and Jenna is here today for a hair transplant. Jenna, tell me a little bit about your hair loss, when it started, and how it affects you day to day. So, I started noticing it maybe five years ago, just barely, but it really started bothering me, especially this past year. I tend to wear my hair kind of short, and I have small bangs because I try to hide it. It's a lot of work and I, I don't usually wear my hair like this in public. Um, because you're self-conscious about your... This patch, I have very uh, mm -hmm. such a weird hairline and mm -hmm. it goes back so far that I don't like the way I look with my hair pulled straight back. Okay. Usually I wear bangs to cover okay. it. Okay. Um, so it's been about five years. So it yeah. definitely limits you wearing your hair back yeah. as well. Okay. And my, uh, my family definitely has, my mom had a large forehead, it just goes back further and further, so I'm worried that it's only going to get worse. <laughs> <laughs> Are you nervous? Um, I mean nervous and excited. And you found this through one of your friends, Megan, right? Yeah, my <clears throat> friend Megan had this done a little while ago, I think it was this past year, October maybe, mm -hmm. um, and I, I came in and I helped her after her surgery and she loves it. It's coming in so well that I decided to finally go for it. Awesome. Well, we're going to draw everything out today and thank you so much for showing your journey and <laughs> looking forward to- As much as you can see. <laughs> right. In these COVID times, right? So, and just so you know that people at home, you know, our office is still open. We're just all wearing masks and there's some different uh, rules that we have to adhere to now, but we are still making people happy with their hair. So thanks again, Jenna, and we'll be following up throughout your day. I'm just going to show the recessions here in real time so you can see that um, she sort of has these triangular corners here, and this is something that we're going to address. And you can see the other side here, uh, same kind of thing. Again, really bothers her when she, you know, she's pulling her hair back. I'm sure it's worse when it's wet too. Uh, oh, yeah, in terms for of sure, because these baby hairs <clears throat> are not visible. Right, right, and you can see that her hairlines are getting a little bit uh, spacey and bumpy, and well, that's, that's driving I, her I crazy. Have, that's why I have these. So, so, yep, <laughs> exactly. So at least now you'll have options in terms of uh, hairstyles. So. Yeah, definitely. Awesome. Thanks again, Jeff. Okay, we are here with Jenna, and Jenna at this point has had her strip removed in the back, and she's all sewn together after the anesthesia, of course. <laughs> How has your day been going? Really good. I just, I, I feel good. I'm tired, and I'm watching TV. <laughs> <laughs> so she got a little bit of Valium too, so she's nice and relaxed. Any pain right now? Not whatsoever. Good. And you said that the anesthesia part, being the only part you really felt, was actually easier than some of the laser treatments you've had in the past. Yeah, any women who have done any form of laser or any, anything close to that, this is nothing. Right. Easy stuff. <laughs> I'm going to pan around here to show you what it looks like. We literally just put her back together. So she's going to have... A little tiny, see that little line between all the sutures there? Little tiny line there. A little bit of bleeding, a couple drops of blood, no big deal. So, awesome. And she's watching some TV and having a great nothing. day. <laughs> awesome. Best, best apple juice ever. <laughs> yeah, we don't know if it's actually the juice or the Valium, but the apple juice is pretty amazing. So. Anyway, thanks for showing us and uh, we'll be checking in for the next stage. Okay, I'm here with Jenna and Jenna, I wanted to show off her sights for her, uh, again, they're not filled yet, but we made the little tiny slits and you can see all the way around, looks like she got an meat grater but each little tiny slit is gonna represent some, any number of hairs, anywhere from one, two, or three hairs, all the way into those corners. 
And you can kind of see how that's going to reframe her face. I'm really happy I decided to shave the area. Everything seemed to go so fast and smooth. Right. I don't know. It, it was really good. And you'll be able to bring your hair down with some bangs and cover yeah. up that area too. So. Especially if you have your hair longer. Like, I'm not worried about hiding it. Right. I'd rather it be perfect later. Right. So, and we're going to do some little sights in our eyebrows too because we have a little extra. So, um, but anyway, we will be in touch. We'll be following her again in a couple minutes. We'll check up on her. And she just got some pizza. Mm, feeling so good. Fun. She's got some snacks, some juice. We're watching The Office, and life is good. Okay, we are here with Jenna, and she has just finished her surgery. So she did very well today, and I'm going to zoom in here so you can see all of those grafts, tight, tight, tight hairline all the way across. Has a little bit of scabbing already happening, which is great. You can see how that's going to really reframe her face, and when she wears a ponytail, brings her hair back. It's much more even and she's going to feel more confident about that. Even had a little left over. We did a couple spots in her eyebrows too. Hard to see. But overall, you know, how was your experience today? You know, would you, would you recommend oh, it? I definitely recommend. Uh, I'm so excited. I can already see where my hairline is going to be. I'm so excited to just not have to, even my eyebrows, not have to draw them in every time I go swimming or be able to wear my hair in a ponytail it's hot where i live <laughs> <laughs> good it's my instinct right and the nice thing is is this hair is permanent so she never has to worry about her hairline creeping up as she gets older or those those recessions in the corners getting deeper so this is going to be uh, a huge step forward for her in terms yeah. of her hairline so all right we're going to be following her she's local so we're going to be doing follow-ups with her every couple months and monitoring her progress Right now she's having a little bit of discomfort in the incision. Just we took some ibuprofen. Hopefully that's all the she needs. The ibuprofen already seems to help. I think it was just the, yeah. the anesthesia wears off, but ibuprofen feel yeah. better already. Most people describe the pain as mild to medium, so uh, we will be following up. Thanks again, Jenna, for sharing your story. Thank you guys. Call us now, 844-327-4247, and ask about our Hue and Hue Plus procedures, which move more hair than ever before. Hope to hear from you soon.